You know who I am. Let us record great deeds this day and give these artists come a right royal hammering. Welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 in part 23 of our Grom Brindle Immortal Empires campaign. In today's episode, Valkia and her fools cower behind their walls there at the Frozen City. She claimed it back, but both of my armies could reach and attack. So we've got Svenner coming in from one side, and then Fergal Ironforge, the Rune Lord, leading the way with all of his artillery. We are going to absolutely blast apart the walls. You can kind of see them better without the uh, lines there. I've got all of the Bombard Cannons, or the... Breaker cannons, which have been changed a bit. They've got a little less missile strength, and they have six models now instead of the four before. And then we have the bombards directly behind them in canister shot mode already, which actually does very good at tearing down the walls. Bombards being over here, and then the bolt doors on the other side there. Everyone else is going to try to rush on around to the other side, and then I'll send the Ekron miners through once everyone else is kind of busy. I can send them all the way to the back as long as no one's back here to claim that final point. See if we can get this done before the reinforcements show up. Let's get it. We'll have all of you guys blast the same tower. You as well. You go ahead and knock down the gate. We're going to take a few shots in return. I think we win the overall. <laughs> Both of the towers are gone already. I think we win the overall duel there. Gates are open as well. And now we start taking five shots at the wall. Let's just let them shoot their own thing. Let's zoom on in here and see the uh, the carnage. I'm not even gonna give targets. Just watch whole swaths of dudes get blasted off the wall. Having a really bad day on this side here. We thought you had what it takes. I think Valkia heard my plan. She's running back to the other side. There I've got the miners I can summon in. Let's bring our Rune Lord over. These two bombards can go ahead and fire on this barricade platform. Start sending the boys in. Send you forward. We'll bring the Ekron miners forward just a little. And then the pirates as well. Allies will be here in two seconds. Yes, nothing can stop us. Keep moving on in. That barricade's gone. Was there a real reason to do that? No, it was just disrespectful. It's what we're here for. Go ahead and knock this wall down so we don't have to worry about that being in the way. We're only going to take whole chunks out of the wall here. Just hammering away. Allies are here. Let's get them moving. They've got several units rotating on over. They really don't want to face the Dawi up front here at all. Alright, let's start blasting apart this four wall. Let's make sure you're not in the way. There we go. Taking down all of the four walls. Let's bring long drongs in. On within the walls as well. Valky is back there in the back, kind of hiding. Ready. You grab all of the artillery. For the high king. Yeah, scoot him forward. Understood, Lord. The walls down as well. Let's move these miners up. Nothing can stop us. All right, the boys inside the wall. We'll make sure he's not getting taken out by anyone. You turn and fire on these trolls. Well, come back and hang out. The trolls will come to you. All right. Give me vengeance. You lads, let's not use your weapons. Let's just get through those gates. You guys start plinking apart these fort towers. The clans unite. 
move on into where you can start blasting apart the other four towers. We'll get these rune golems moving in. Get the fort wall over on this side. All of our lords send in as well now. Ever so slightly moving in. Valkia is charging on. Let's see if we can get Valkia shot down by the bolt casters there. Gonna take a bit of damage from Sloutmere. Oh, Valkia is coming fully beyond the wall. Alright, well, we are gonna take a ton of damage. We are careful here. Let's drop the flashbang. These guys are probably gonna break. We are relentless. Did not expect her to come beyond the walls. Let's find anyone with a cannonball fire on Valkia. Hit her with the flashbang so she slows a little bit down. Then pull on away. Again, everyone wrapping her up into a melee all together. She going back beyond the walls there. Did a pretty good job of luring my Ekron Miners in. Alright, all three of them get Valkia. Oh, why run? Thought you were brave. She keeps fluttering around. She's not really sure what to do. Eat blasting her. And she really doesn't want to land, does she? Doing an incredible job of wasting all of our artillery. Let's swing back over. We've got all these quarrelers to use. I was trying to not have to use the normal forces here, but seems to not be the case. We'll group, lock that group together. Send these rangers up as well. You boys come on in and get through these gates. Looks like we are ready to get on through. One death ball. Send those slayers in. Kalki is running for her life. Bring these guys over. We'll have our hero four moving on in together. Ekron Miners, let's go ahead and teleport through. Valkia could possibly come on over and rout you, but let's get some momentum moving our way by claiming this point over on that side. A lot of enemies in the way here. Let's go ahead and summon in some miners. Or maybe we have this one handled. We'll wait until the Knights of the Brazen Throne are involved. You guys are through the gates. Send them in. Parlors, let's bring you forward. Rangers up as well. Go ahead and drop down extra armor on everyone here. Alright, perfect. Knights of the Brazen Throne are all engaged in combat now. Now we surround them with armor piercing. Oh, a bunch of dudes fell off the wall there. Armor piercing, pickaxes. We also got our summon of rocks here. We can drop them in from the top. We're going to take a little bit of friendly fire. Yeah, a lot of friendly fire. Alright, cease. Blew up someone else. Let's get the rune golems out because they seem to be taking a lot of damage. These crossbows keep blasting over the top there. Valkia has decided if she's going to come on in on this side. Yes. Pull you a little ways away. She's going to pop her invincibility shield. Valkia, the incredibly brave. The absolutely destroyed, though. Our master engineer is a bit by himself. We'll drop down a flashbang, weaken everyone there. Thane moving. Actually, the Thane will come grab this point. That one belongs to us as well. We can bring along Drongs forward. Keep everything pinned down with their weaponry. We'll leave our artillery here for now. We'll get back over to this squad, who is mostly sitting completely uh, useless here. 
sure what exactly is happening over here, but we need a more speed and melee attack for all of our rune golems. It is a reckoning. That'll do. And rip on through. Charge! Of these rangers, come on. Oh, I thought they could get through the, uh, the wall there. Get moving. Get through like that. Lucky has got a lot of lads surrounding her. See if we can get some more melee attack for everyone surrounding. You come on through and attack the demon spew. Mixture of long beards and slayers should bring her down over time. We we'll killed quite a few though. Summon in some minor support here. Don't really want you in combat. Yeah, we're going to leave all of the artillery people outside. Those hounds should turn and run. Thane's actually struggling a bit against the Exalted Hero. I think he'll actually end up winning that one in the long run. Let's get both of our Mountaineers up on the walls here. Iron Thunderers as well. Alright, come on and claim this point. We'll send these Rune Golems forward. Let's actually scare off those brazen knights there. Make sure they aren't coming back. Throw a killing blow. Anyone who's in the way is going to get annihilated. Hey, she's destroying these long beards. I expected them to fight a little better. Let's get those slayer sappers out of there. We'll bring these long beards back as well. Drop down some more armor on that whole group. Keep moving up. Yes, Those miners are fighting stuff they really don't yes, want to be. Thane's struggling a bit, but let's give him his support he needs. We'll drop in some extra rune of speed. That's too many heroes for a single exalted. There we go. That's some good damage coming in now. Make sure that shotgun is singing as well. Beautiful. He's broken. Looks like the white flag is going up across the board. It's just Valkia, who is currently demonic. Longbeard's in. Pull you guys back. No reason to take damage for free. This Valkia just annihilates Dawi. She's fading away, but she is taking as many with her as she can. Running for once. Chase her down. A volley of Iron Thunderers. She realizes, okay, maybe the melee is better, a better place to be. She is hanging in there, though. Yep, that's what we wanted, a close-up on Olga there. Perfect victory. The frozen city is back under our control. He's going to give us a decisive victory, even though we lost quite a few in that initial charge. So many, in fact, we lost one of our groups of slayers. I thought they survived. Well, that's unfortunate. We do end up claiming that victory, though, and defeating Valky. I think both of these guys, if they didn't already have the defeat trait for her now as well. Sack the settlement, but this is ours anyway, so we'll just claim this back. A stone mason for story, and several dead enemies. Queen to throne, more melee attack and armor piercing, as well as chaos breaker. Even more goodies. Grudge removed onto the frozen city there, and we're back down to tier one. Maybe we should have sacked it. All right, we don't have enough growth buildings in here, so let's throw in the barley field, and then we'll hit a upgrade to the dwarven outpost. Leave Urgle here to replenish. And a spinner can turn on back around and start working back towards Shagrath. Leave him here for now. That's that all these lovely skills we gained. It's like two for you, good sir. Alright, good idea is to go ahead and grab... I'm thinking his cannon abilities for start. More ammunition and missile strength. Oh, wait. Yeah. Blind. He already has that. Start working on his magic then. My 
My anger burns bright. For our other rune lord. We can start probably working on his blue line, getting down towards the Inquiring Mind. He's got everything else I'm kind of liking. The Rune of Slowness is pretty probably pretty good, so we might grab that for now and then start working down the blue line, just so we can make sure any flyers or any fast movers get to slow down nicely before they get a hug from all our Quarrel Bolts. For our Thane, he is rolling in on the last of his combat potential. We could give him some Deadly Blade, though. His leadership is already pretty nice, so we'll go for that Deadly Blade up to 71. Not flammable. Can I help you? Well, you can. Give yourself a bit more health, boost our income or our mobility. We'll probably boost both of these. Grab our passive abilities there. Master of or the rune smith rolling with the artillery. Do we want more on the armor? Probably. Armor, and then probably another use for the Rune of Slowness. What do you want? So we can really make sure we control the battlefield. For a story, you just need to be better at fighting. We'll give you your training, and then we'll start working on hard to hit. Make you a nice defensive wall. Vengeful Rune Perfect, we've moved Grum Brendel over to claim the Glacial Gardens. I think it's time we finally finish off the Mung. I'm tired of being invaded from the north here when we just start get things going. So, Oldest has himself a Thane now as well. And when we do have a bit more gold, we will be recruiting in more troops. For now, he's getting himself some Lothurn Sea Guard, which will be a nice missile frontline combo to go with all our artillery teams. And they move quite a bit faster than the normal Dawi too, so they can actually keep up with the... Well, well they definitely can't keep up with our juggernauts. They can keep up more up with the drudge tank. Don't recruit him anyone else, though. I want that to be a high elven army. Go with our armored convoy. Then we're going to bring Alden over all the way back because I am going to have to try to trust them. It, leaving a, such an elite army over here is a waste. We're going to bring him over to start the war with Bellicor, who I know is going to be a problem. He's already negative 351 for the next turn, so... I'm thinking that we shall be at war with Bellicor and his Norskins very soon. It'll be done. Well, come on up back up north here and steal some technology for me. This will work. They keep just sacking this settlement. I was going to come down here and claim it just so I could give it to one of them and gain some uh, goodies for it. He fails, sadly. A nod. Ready to do the guild's bidding. I will give you specialists then, so you have a better opportunity to do the guild's bidding. Failing does not help anyone. Get back to empowerment. Empowerment! Birds for me. Throw in some well, speaking of empowerment, what's good, Katarin? She would like a non-aggression pact. I bet we could probably get more than that. Trade agreement sounds good, and we'll take military access. And I'm not going to siphon you for gold. Actually, we'll take that payment away. And then uh, propose that. She needs all of the power she can defending the motherland. I know it says she's spring quake 14, but that goes away quick. My people are great. It is time once again for the living ancestor. We could grab any of these others, but again, it's only for Grom, uh, Grom Brindle's army. So I think the call is as usual, just Grungni's teachings. Keep that research rate as maximized as possible, lower his upkeep, and keep our construction costs a bit lower. Avalorn's moving, the Cult of Pleasure is finally destroyed, and we have the Oath of the Crew dropping upkeep additionally for our artillery crews and speeding up their reload. 4,500 on the predicted income now. What? Your job is to come up here and kill Malekith, who is really, really marked for Slanesh. We're definitely about to lose the fortress. But I think we can deal. And allows us to reconquest the land as well. Move to Shagrath. We'll put in the Dwarf Wharf. And then we'll upgrade the fortress, spend a bit of our gold. I kind of want to bring you with... No. This would shame my ancestors. Quit being dramatic. Just come out of the walls and go into encamp stance. 
They it wasn't so hard, was it? You'll now get maximum replenishment. And we can have a Grom Brindle bring down these walls. All enemies shall tremble. Oh, agreed. Only a few Norskins huddle behind these walls in the Glacial Gardens. It's time for them to uh, be obliterated. Enjoy the afterlife. We'll sack the settlement first, and then we'll come back to deliver some more Dowie on healthcare to the Norskins. Gain another archivist. More research. Ra oh, are, did we get played again? Oh, looks like we didn't. Sweet. Frigid Wasteland is under our control, as nasty as it is. Cost it, it costs so much just to repair. All right, well, let's throw in the spice market so we make our money. I think we have forward walls as well. Fortunately, no. We're going to make more gold off of selling the spices than the actual uh, income on the settlement itself. Swing back over to Empowerment of the Guilds, and I think that'll be the one we go for for most of it. 30 more growth, less construction, and more tradable resources. Grom Brindle's boys got some extra skills. Let's pass those on out. I think we'll drop the other point into Mentor pretty soon, but I think Relentless for more speed. The 52 is not bad. Grom Brindle. King Lun. I don't also want to give you more, more speed for all of our missile units. Sounds good, though. Speed those Dawi up. The same thing with this guy, although more mobility is uh, the first one. We'll grab these passes and then we'll go for the extra speed in the army. Summon me if you dare. Stone shatter. I can give you Bergvar handshake. Go ahead, and just go for break open the casks. We'll work on the bust of the overall theme there because these just increase his abilities. Ballistic calibration is very good though. All right, Melika is uh, recruiting up an Ashrak. His forces are still going to be a problem. We need a little bit more in order to gain some more Avalorian troops. May to go to the global then and grab some more war machines. Can we afford them? Uh, wall machines are quite expensive. Gyro carriers. Wari clearers was designed for industrial reuse. So is this a chariot? Oh, it sure is. Interesting. Uh, dwarven chariots. It does have an anti-infantry being a chariot, armor piercing. It, is it showing as expendable? Huh. That's unfortunate. You never want to be uh, seen as expendable. Which seems like that just goes to show. Let's go ahead and stay. Time for a reckoning. Last time we fought them, yes. we got completely stomped. I think we'll be fine. Ready. Send you north to spy on what's going on up here at the Glacial Encampment. Any kind of nonsense? No, that's their one and only army. Fair enough. All of them, let's get going. Can you teleport anywhere useful? No. I don't think we need him to bring down the others, so let's actually jump him through the mountain. And we'll move him across this way over towards Bellacor. I'm gonna trust you. We can chuck in some sappers or some uh, slayers there to start working through these Marauder champions. It cost a bit. Let's grab the one unit just to get a bit more stoutness to our line, and then we can recruit in. Some blasting charge mine or something cheap that can explode a big group of guys all at once. Never can I help you. Everyone else is gonna be just kind of chilling. Let's grab our technology here. Trade tariffs are good, but they actually don't give us all that much money overall. We're not making that much from trade. Continuing to increase our artillery capabilities is probably what I'd like to do. More range and range damage. And just more income from all buildings. Gather the troops is 
probably a good one. I kind of want to start working on the global network since we are at a port part where uh, we can actually start or we need rather to start throwing out troops a little bit faster. Go ahead and grab the gather the troops and we'll work down towards the global network. So that one needs what building the engineers guild hall. I think that's the top tier engineer buildings. So we need to start making some money. The guild hall is going to be 8,400 and we're going to get to your five settlement. We are there. We just need 14,000 gold. Well, then, you know what our new strategy is. Yes. Operation Moneymaker. Let's send you down south to go see what's going on down with Hexawaddle. If maybe find some more trade to be had down there. At your service. Screams at me and Lizardmen. Maybe not. Right. Yes. Not no one wants to make any deals. I just wanted to siphon some gold from your treasuries. Melika gives 13, 12, or 15 for Malekith. I think Malekith should be the option then. We are about to get absolutely smacked here at the fortress. Oh, he's got Femir. They usually don't roll with Femir. This is going to be interesting. Alright, Alden has become a tunneler. And we have two enemy armies that have landed ashore. Hey, are the EU guys fighting? You speak to your You can you can hush up now. That's about enough out of you. Well, we're gonna allow Malik to sit outside and siege the settlement down since he's taking attrition from that slum nash corruption. He will reach you eventually. We could also just move up north and claim the shard bash from him. I think he would very much prefer to have the Fortress of the Damned, though, so let's start moving on over as one large force. Maybe uh, convince them to do some shenanigans by going over in under Empire Stance. Warp on over. We're still replenishing as well, so we'll bring you just behind. I don't think they'll be able to reach each other, sadly, but we'll see. Pass out some more skill points to our Thane. I think we'll need a bit more hard to hit capabilities. Start spinning some both gold on some better weapons here pretty soon, too. No other settlements matter except for building the tier 5 from our main military building. So let's come on back over to Oldus. You've got several armies hanging out over here. Lots of Normie Marauders now. Let us begin. Nothing else really to steal from Avalorn. We'll grab one more group of Slayers as our money spent for this turn, and then we will continue to hang out. Let's go into uh, Ambush. As the High King commands. Do some sneaky maneuvers, see if the Dobby can do it. Draw him in. See if we can siphon any more gold out of our allies once more here. I think the answer is going to be a big no. Yes? Yeah, we're still a little ways away from any kind of alliances. You know who I am. Threaten from the north here with Grumbrindle. I don't think I really want to. I'm going to leave securing the north up to Oldus. And we can leave, move Grumbrindle up back over. We're going to take attrition no matter what being in the... Uh, the waste, huh? Oh, that's a bit unfortunate. It's what it is. We gotta move across. Gotta make some land. Some ground up. Yori, you come up north here and just keep an eye. We'll get moving. For the wisdom of the layer. Move further in arch. Thank goodness. We march. Bring you to bear against Bellicor. Hopefully the Sisters of Twilight stop deteriorating at some point. Once we uh, upgrade Rakdo, I'm happy to give them some more gifts so they uh, calm down. I'm very surprised with all of the deals we have with Avalor, and they aren't better allies with us, but uh, we'll deal with it. Let's go for these two and kind of see what Malekith's up to. Harkoneth is attacked by a combined force 
Oh, this is an Argoneth. What am I talking about? Fortress of the Damned is attacked by Malekith and Throg both. Wow, well, we can see what he's rolling with. It is mostly monsters. All Famir. With the Famir line breakers. More charge bonus, vicious assault, and rattle. Oh, great. Two very nasty armies, and he's got himself a good deal of Reaper Bolt Throwers. We'll give this one auto-resolve. We don't have much chance here. We lost a hundred combined. I'm not much for words, but I'm pretty nifty with an axe. Oh, do you want peace now? Oh, absolutely not. I see that you've moved into our lands after not accepting peace. We've gone into start raiding. You know nothing. Well, at the very least, we can move on over and do some damage. Mountain stealing Elgi Grudge. Let's grab the, for war. the ultimate weapon. Oh, cheese. Where's the, uh, the cloak of Elia? We need. Where are you hiding? The scepter of stone. You'll get it back. Don't worry. We need it. We need it just for a moment. Oh, we crushed these Norskin invaders. Almost have more points with Avalorn. Gonna give us a valiant defeat. Let's grab the physical resistance. Pass this off to our players. Already have some physical resistance, do they not? No. Okay, we'll give this to the uh, Lutheran Sea Guard then, and then we will do battle with the Mung. This is another large force, so we may end up having to retreat once more here. Uh, let's see what kind of damage we can do. All right then, armored car, uh, armored core, rather part two. Let's do. Not entirely sure how the best way to go about this is going to be, but let's throw the Lord in up front here. We'll have our Lothar and Seaguard holding this position. Monster you up front. It will be done. Uh, Slayers behind. For the Happy to kind of have them in the woods. We'll put some boom booms on the side as well. Anyone who wants to close that gap will have a bad day. Slayers. Steam tank. The cannon at rollers. We'll have two of them up top here. They, can, they move so fast. We can use them really aggressively. Uh, we'll have some other cannons. Probably in the center here. We just want to try to spread their line out as much as we can. So they aren't all together. Kill the old splitters. Passing our two other heroes, let's bring them on over. Set you here. Runesmith. Runesmith there. Staying well off on the side. Alright. It's gonna be a tough one, but I think we've got it. That'll begin. Let's immediately start by entrenching our Lothar and Seaguard here. Bring the war machines forward. Much faster than the enemy, so we want to make good use of that. I don't know, my Lothar and Seaguard can move now. Probably should have waited a little bit before entrenching them. Send you around. Focus those bolts on the large targets, please. The runes glow for the ancestor Go ahead. Gods. Focus all cannons on those Marauder Spearmen. We'll kind of come back to that pretty quickly here in a moment. We have six summons of these guys to use. We want to try to use them to our absolute advantage here. Blasting apart those Spearmen. Let's go ahead and scoot around. All sorts of guys coming through the woods. We want to be careful. Let's bring the steam tank back. Keep going around. Come on back. You guys should be able to shoot that gap. Come on. Roll right through. Don't stop. They got caught. Anytime you try to give them one of the, the swooping maneuvers, sometimes they act a little funky. Strike out! Victory will be ours! 
Department. Charge you up and get involved with this first group. You pull back. No one else is caught just yet. Let's keep moving them around then. Don't want them to get caught. I'm happy to keep wearing out these Norskins, though. Charge in on this group. You keep moving back. I didn't really use you as well as I could have. Lothar and Seaguard start firing. Kill them. Take aim. Go ahead and explode this group. We'll hit a flashbang down on their lord. God's moving. I'll turn. Pull you away from those javelins. Power through. No reason to allow yourself to get bogged down. Got a scepter of stone and an absolute ton of Norskins, although we probably want to wait. Do the rune of slowness on this lord here. Make sure he's going nowhere. Those slayers in there. They're about to get caught. Let's move on away. Keep arranging targets. You guys pull away. Go ahead and summon in some miners there. I surrounded. All right. We need the Scepter of Stone now. So many unfriendly friends coming on in. No, nah, we don't really want anyone entrenched. You just go ahead and get your shotgun. Sing in there. Guys, turn and fire. Let's go ahead and roll you on through. These ballistae are wasting their ammo. Come on, let's bring this lord down. We can do it. We really needed the Lothar and Seaguard to fire for a bit longer. Oh, blast apart these fools here. You come on in and deal with them as well. I managed to get this group caught. Get on out of there then. Keep rolling through. Summon another group of miners in on... We really need to shut down these great weapons here. This group must be satisfied. Yes. Yeah. Alright, flashbang this whole group here. Weaken them for as long as we can. Ronner was a game, that's what we'll say. Get these miners chasing after this lord here, you guys keep moving. You all pull on away. Nah, I don't roll around. I don't know what we're running you away from. You should be fine. You fire on pretty much whoever you want. Let's blast apart these spearmen here. Start rolling on back. All right, the grudge tank one. Let's start blasting apart different units now. Lothar and Seaguard, show you the, this group, please. You guys charge through. Get out, get out, get out. Run quick. Drop down the Scepter of Stone on all of these lads here. Got to do that before his leadership breaks. Come on. Beautiful, just in time. Get some miners coming in behind there. The whole squad gets obliterated, though. Keep firing in. You guys pull on away. These throwing axes need some love. Love and see God. Uh, Rune Lord, you guys really haven't been doing much. That's been my mistake. Extra melee attack for everyone in here. Go ahead and fire on this group. One more group of nasties coming on in to deal with. Come on up over this hill. You miners bog those guys down for a moment. You need to keep moving so you're not getting shot up by all that free anti-large. Go ahead and uh, encamp this group. Flashbang these fools. Drop some miners on their heads as well. Starting to, starting to fail. 
Don't worry, lad. We've got you some friends. Love and Seaguard. Seaguard are starting to struggle now. Well, Seaguard were never really doing that much damage. But bring you back, dude. Show us the target, Lord. Bolts in. For the Karas Anchor. Move! Vengeance! All right, their Lord's gone. Cannon's made sure of it. I don't know how much more these uh, Norskins are going to be willing to deal with my armored core, but we'll see. Oh, they're breaking. That's the victory. I knew it could work. We just got to figure this one on out. Wonderful victory. Let's see how many of these guys we can chase down because we have such fast movers, and I will catch you on a moment. A Pyrrhic victory. Our Slayers did go ahead and fulfill their oath, but everyone else did a... Rather marvelous job. 235 kills. I don't think we want these miners with the blasting charges. They're going to go away. I think we do want more just quarrels for when they get close. Quarrels to go with our staunch line of spears from the Lothar and Seaguard. Scarecrow banner, huh? This one could be better. We'll give it on to our lord, though. And then we will take the Freak to Victory. Oh, lovely. We can chase him down again. We gained a choir master because, of course, we didn't. The vile horde grudge has been settled. Let's go but there is no escape. Let's go ahead and, for our lord, kick in the inspiring presence. I want to upgrade what we can on the juggernauts. So those guys are going to count as what? Grudge throwers, cannon. That's a good question. I would assume it's this, tradition and innovation, since it's the juggernauts. I will have to go in and take a look at the uh, mobile artillery. Probably count as cannons. Then what does the grudge tank count as? I'll have to take a look at the mod files, see what these guys count as before we pass. Skills and uh, skinny skills out rather to oldest because I want to get some red skills going out to our increase the power of our uh, armored core there. And then for Morgrim, we'll definitely keep working on the rune of slow. Ooh, hang on now. Sharpened weapons, and then root of slowness. The axe we definitely war. want Saver because that should actually increase the speed. Let's check it to see if it does. So before we do, these guys are at 66 speed. Afterwards, they are now at 66 speed. So the juggernauts don't count as missile troops. I think they probably do count as cannons, but we will, like I said, go double, triple check. Or our thing. He did pretty well in combat. Let's give him the training uh, passive and then go for hard to hit. Everyone else here looking good. Let's charge on in. Me if you dare. Please let me auto resolve. We lose the miners. I'm actually fine with that. Crumples to his knees. We take the victory. We killed one of those miners. Weak. We'll go ahead and drink to victory once more then. Can't quite make it to Ashrak. So let's go ahead and stay in camp. Just kind of come around the corner here. For the wisdom of Valaya. Yeah, one skill point, hopefully. Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll just grab obstinacy for now. Drop that vigor since we are rolling around quite a bit with our little rolly boys there. 8,000 out of the 14,000 needed. We need to go beat some more gold out of our enemies. But for now, I am out of time for today. I have been Space Wars of Total War. Remember to leave a like for the like guy and the sub for the sub zone, and I will see you on the next one.